Hi, everybody. Hope you're all okay. My name is Mr. Garner, for those of you who don't know me from around the school. And I'm here today to kind of introduce kind of what our year is going to look like in Spiders class. So before I get going with the details of the year, I'm just going to talk through this. So we ask as a school, if your child develops any of these symptoms of COVID, so a high temperature, a continuous cough, loss of taste or smell, that you can get them tested, please. And to please keep children off. And to help us with working with the test and trace team, we ask that you inform school by emailing covid at winchamcp.cheshire.seh UK. Tell us the date, the time of the onset of the symptoms, and that will really will help us a lot as a school. And if your child has to self-isolate for whatever reason, whether they are a close contact or they do test positive, please let school know if they are able to access schoolwork and work will be put on Google Classroom from the day after you report your child's absence. So I'm now just going to talk through the timetable for the day in Spiders class. So each morning there will be a spelling, an English and a maths lesson. And also every day there will be a guided reading lesson, and that's usually in the afternoons. Now, in the afternoons as well, we also tend to teach the foundation subjects, including arts, design technology, geography, history. We also teach science in the afternoons as well. But there may also be some catch up maths, some English work to make sure that those gaps from last year and the year before are filled. And on a Wednesday morning this year, the children will have RE with Mrs. Molyneux and music with Mrs. Brailsford. Now, PE this year will take place on a Wednesday and a Friday. Now, on a Wednesday, PE will be with Multiflex, and on a Friday, I will be taking the PE lesson. And just like last year, we ask that the children come into school with wearing their PE kits for these days. Now, as the children are a bit older in Upper Key Stage 2, we do say that they can start to walk home on their own. Now, it's up to you when you feel your child is ready for that responsibility. And if you do decide that your child is OK to walk home alone, then we ask that you do inform the office and complete a form for that so we can allow the child to walk home from school on their own. We can't let a child go on their own unless that form has been completed. So our expectations of class behaviour at Wincham. Now, since 2018, we've had a whole school policy to encourage excellent behaviour. Now, we use a class dojo. We use dojo points and we also have a traffic light system. Now, all children will begin the school day on green and they will receive dojo points for good behaviour, trying their best, working hard. And I've already given out many dojos this week for excellent work, excellent language and behaving really well. Now, unacceptable behaviour in our school will result in a verbal warning from myself or the adult in the room explaining the behaviour that is unacceptable. If the behaviour then persists, they'll be then moved to yellow on the traffic light. If that then is sorted, so they sort out their behaviour, they rectify it, they can then move back to green. However, if the behaviour continues to deteriorate, they will then move to orange, okay, and that'll be then a warning, okay, a final warning, and parents will be told at this point. Red, right at the top of the traffic light for persistent bad behaviour, okay, not trying to sort it out at all. Parents will be informed and they'll be if logged, a severe incident will be logged. Now we use Class Dojo um, in school for many years now, and I believe that everybody is linked to the Class Dojo account. Now we award dojos for many things, including good work, helping others, being polite, good manners, being on task, working hard. And it's a way for us to kind of communicate the excellent behavior that we're seeing within school. If you do have any problems connecting to Class Dojo, please let me know as soon as possible. You can have a parent account that you can download to your phone, your tablet, and then you can see how many dojos the children have got. And it also allows us to share every so often pictures, the stories with you, okay, or exciting things that have been happening in the class. I'm going to now talk through our first term, the sort of the things that we're going to be covering. Now, in our English this half term, we're going to link it to our topic work on rainforests. Now, we've already started to look at a short animated film called Ride of Passage, which is about the adventures of a young member of a rainforest tribe. Now, we'll be working on this for a couple of weeks. And once we have completed the work on this video, we're then going to move on to the book called Can We Save the Tiger? And we're going to be looking at some persuasive writing, looking about why it's important to save animals. 
and the rainforest as well. We'll be looking at key things such as deforestation, and I'll be talking more about that later. In our maths, we'll be planning in many opportunities to kind of revisit the learning from the previous years and to fill in the gaps that may have occurred over the last two years as they've had a bit of disruption. We'll be basing most of our maths on the white rose scheme, which gives children plenty of practice with reasoning and problem solving. We'll have a daily fluency session where we'll recap the key things that they've covered in previous years to kind of keep those key skills the best that they can be. We're also going to be using a range of reasoning and problem solving challenges, including challenges from the Enrich website, which promote higher order thinking. And I've left the link on there, which I think you'll be able to access from home. It's a fantastic website with lots and lots of good problem solving activities there. Fantastic for a greater depth sort of child. In PSHE, we'll be looking at continuing to focus on the children's mental well-being and we'll be continuing with opportunities to allow the children to discuss their feelings as we help them adjust to the new routine and school environment. Now, as a school, we are following the Heart Smart scheme. Now, Heart Smart is a creative approach that we use to build character, emotional health and resilience in children. Now, we believe that giving them these skills will improve their mental health and relationships and academic achievement. And we want everybody at Winsham to know that they are loved, valued and cared for. Now, these are the five things that we kind of focus on. We have Boris the robot, and that will be linked with in our lessons. And we'll also have our assemblies as well with Mr. Boot that will link into our Heart Smart scheme. I've put here the overview for our topic lessons, what we're going to be covering in our lesson. Now, our key topic title for this half term is what would happen if the rainforest disappeared? Now, the things we're going to be focusing on include life in the rainforest, the locations of the rainforests, the layers, the animals that live there, the threats that rainforests face, and conservation as well for the rainforests. Now, I've also included there the key vocabulary that we're going to be learning this, this half term with the children, as well as the global goals that link with that. Now, if you have anything that could help with that, please don't hesitate to email me and that'll be fantastic. As well as the topic work, we are continuing to follow the No Outsiders scheme. And every half term, we will read an age appropriate book to teach about an aspect of the Equalities Act. Now, this is from the 2010 Equality Act, and we'll be thinking about um, equality and British values. Now, we believe that this will prepare children for a modern life, the, in modern life, life, sorry, <laughs> prepare children for life in modern Britain. And it will teach children to be proud of who they are while recognising and celebrating difference and diversity. And we have a positive kind of school ethos from that, okay, where everybody feels that they belong. There are no outsiders at Wincham. Homework inspired us this year. Reading. As often as possible, please, can the children read? Um, can they record in their reading records? I've already been getting them to record it already the last week or so, and I'd like them to continue doing that, please. We'll be rewarding reading progress on Book Club as well. Um, that will continue over the year. I think they all have their logins as well for Book Club. If they don't, please let me know. Every Friday on Google Classroom, there will be a maths and English piece set, and that will be to be completed for the following week. I know it's different from year three and four, but in year five and six, we accept a maths and English piece every week, and that will be on Google Classroom. Another way we are expecting the children to be Doing home learning is times tables. So we'll be looking at completing times table rock stars as often as possible in their own time to ensure that their times tables are as secure as possible as that really does help with the year five and six curriculum, especially with things like fractions, really important. And spelling shed as well. That was a new thing we introduced last year. And every week there'll be a new spelling list that will go up for the children to kind of look at and revisit. And these are some of the things that you can, the children should be doing at home each week. Now, I've got a couple of slides here about the expectations for the year group. So in year five, the expectation is for reading is to kind of focusing on the inference. So kind of thinking about why certain things are happening. OK, and in year five or six, we kind of try to pull in the evidence from the text. So we're thinking about well, that character might be feeling this way because in the text they have acted in this way. For example, we're looking at summarizing points to make of an argument potentially or a discussion. We'll be distinguishing between facts and opinions. We'll be looking at why the writer has chosen certain words for a certain effect and creating notes as well. 
in the writing in year five, we're looking at kind of developing their writing further and kind of developing it further from year four. The main things within year five are we're looking at using adverbs of possibility. So using things such as perhaps, surely. We're looking at using modal verbs, including things like might, should, will. We're looking at kind of varying the opening of their sentences. So kind of thinking about, can I make that more interesting at the opening part of my sentence? We'll be looking at using parentheses in year five. So that includes things like brackets, dashes, commas, to kind of add that extra bit of information. We'll be looking at using paragraphs effectively to organize the information and to kind of link their paragraphs by making them more cohesive. So kind of thinking about, can I make my first sentence of the paragraph link into the paragraph before to kind of make it more cohesive? And this is something we'll continue to work on over the year. In mathematics, the big thing in year five is fractions, and that is quite a big unit. And that'll be, we'll be starting that at the end of the autumn term. That includes the equivalent fractions, multiplying fractions, and so on. I've got a few things there for year five as well. We're looking at place value up to 1 million. So looking at numbers up to 1 million. Prime numbers, square numbers, cube numbers as well. We're continuing to round numbers up to a 1 million, okay, to various degrees. As well as decimals, we'll be carrying on that from year four. Looking again at adding subtraction, adding, and sorry, adding and subtracting numbers that have more than four digits. Multiplying a four digit number by a two digit number. So introducing long multiplication. We'll be continuing with short, multi short division from last year and some other parts as well, which I've put there on the screen. Year six expectations. So in reading, we're looking at kind of continuing the work from year five and to kind of referring to the text to support your opinion and the prediction. We're going to be thinking about why sentences might have been arranged in a certain way by the author to create maximum effect. We're looking at recognizing phrases which add detail to sentences. We might be looking at how a writer has used a sentence to create a particular effect. So we're really picking apart the text and thinking, why is the author chosen that, that word? Why is the author put that um, punctuation mark there? What, for what reason have they done that? And we'll be kind of looking at skimming and scanning to aid note taking. So kind of developing that from year five. In writing, we'll be looking at continuing the work from year five. We'll be developing the sentences further by using a range of conjunctions to opening their sentences in different ways, developing their ideas, kind of giving more detail. So using expanded noun phrases. We'll be introducing a semicolon, a colon or dash to kind of mark independent clauses. We'll be looking at bullet points as a correct use of punctuation, hyphens to avoid ambiguity as well as a range of devices to build cohesion. So to make sure that the writing kind of flows better, it kind of, it's not just static paragraphs that don't link. We'll make sure it's a nice cohesive piece. It, it links really well. And we were making sure they are kind of writing legibly, fluently and with increasing speed. Now for both year five and six, we are continuing to expect that children will be joining their writing using the cursive style that they have been taught throughout Winchum. In mathematics in year six, We'll be carrying on the work from year five. We'll be developing the place value further up to 10 million to so recognize the numbers. We'll be looking up to the four operations, making sure they're really secure. By right? That includes long multiplication. We'll be introducing long division. So dividing a four digit number by a two digit number. And we'll be continuing to develop the fractions, decimals, percentages from year five. That includes calculating percentages of a whole number. Now, in year six, the children will sit the SATs in the summer term. Now, they assess the children against the age-related expectations as set out by the national curriculum. Now, the children will sit tests in reading, maths, uh, spelling and punctuation and grammar. Now, at the moment, there are no changes to report at the time. And if, if everything goes how it's supposed to go, we believe the SATs are going to be administered in the week commencing the 9th of May 2022. Now, in the rest of the year, there'll be more information following about that. We'll give more detail about that. But as far as we know at the moment, the stats are still going ahead. What they will look like, we are not quite sure yet. But we will let you know as soon as we know. So I'm now going to go through some ways that you could help at home. So reading is a big way you could help at home. So we ask that children should read about at least four times a week for at least 20 minutes. And the reading diaries should be signed. So if... 
as the children are a bit older, they may not read aloud to you. So please talk to them about what they've read, how it made them feel, what did they discover, what do they think is going to happen next. Think about certain words, phrases that may, may have stood out to them. So we are encouraging as well children to read books on book club and they will earn dojos and certificates for good reading. Another way you could help at home is to help with times tables as we believe at Wincham they are a really important skill in mathematics and they should be practiced regularly. Now all the children have a login for times table rock stars in their it's in their reading diary these ones and please encourage them to complete the challenges and each term we'll be having a competition across the school so that'll be good fun to look forward to. Now book club, why are we using book club? There are up-to-date books, there's popular characters, we believe it's more engaging for children, there are questions on each of the books that they've read to kind of revisit what they've read and there are also audiobooks so the children can just simply enjoy hearing the reading the story. Now we have the login details there for book club, I'm sure the children know how to do this already. Other ways you could help at home, we have spellings. So please also encourage your children to learn and revise their year three and four and year five and six statutory spellings. Now these are the key words that the government have said the year children should know by the end of year three and four and by the end of year five and six. Now the lists of these are on Google Classroom. I've uploaded them onto there. So if you're not sure what to do, working through those year five and six words, year three and four words will be a real benefit. I will also be setting weekly tasks on Spelling Shed for the children to complete, and that'll be based on the spelling rules that we have been covering in class. Now, after the disruption of the last couple of years, it would also greatly help, it'd be appreciated, if you could help your child with other areas of learning. So, for example, thinking about time, that's been something that's not been taught as well as it should have been. Think about the analogue and digital clocks, Think, help with things at home. You can look at units of measurement, scales in cooking, calculating change with working with money, for etc. Helping with those sorts of things will be great. Now, we are helpers in school. We are very ha happy to welcome volunteers into school to support children with their learning. But until we receive other advice, we are limiting this to people who can prove they have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And if you are interested in helping out in school, please either email myself or the office staff. Now, pupil premium funding, so infant free school meals for children who are in the infants, they're able to get free school meals if in reception, year one or year two. Now, your child might be able to get free school meals further than year two if they get any of the following. So if you have income support, job seekers allowance, employment support allowance, child tax credit, universal credit. So if your child is eligible for free school meals, they'll remain eligible until they finish the phase of schooling. So they'll remain eligible right until the end of primary school. So if you're eligible for free school meals, the school gets additional funding, and we call that pupil premium funding, which we use in part to support you with the cost of school trips, after school clubs, instrumental tuition, as well as to support your child in their learning. And to support the Winch and Friends and Family, there isn't a better time to support them. So there is a Facebook page link there. And supporting the WFF is not a very time-consuming commitment. Meetings are held termly, and there are always the things that you can do that only take an hour or so at the event, or longer if, we, or if you have the time. As much as it is really important for us to all raise money for the children, especially given the on give ongoing additional squeeze on school budgets, meetings are really good fun. There's a lot of laughter, and it's a chance for you to get to know other people and form friendships, as well as to give something back to the school community. So if you are interested in supporting the Winston School family and friends, there is that Facebook page there to kind of join. If you haven't done so already, please download the School Spider app from the Google Play Store, or the Apple App Store, and that's a way for us to communicate directly with you. We can put news items, blog items, and it's a way for us to kind of set up parents' evenings when we hopefully go back face to face with them. Now, to get the parents' evenings, you'll have to have a School Spider parent account, okay, which will be provided via the office. So at Wincham, we pride ourselves on an open door policy where we're always happy to talk to parents and work with you to support your child. It's not very easy at the moment to come to school. So please, 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 if you want to get in touch, please email me at spiders at winchamcp.cheshire.seh.uk. And I check those daily and I'm more than happy to help in whatever way I can. I will do my best to help. Okay, so 
that is everything. I believe I've covered many things there. If you still have any sort of questions at all about this school year, or you have any sort of concerns at all about your child's learning or any questions, please, please, please get in touch with me and I'll do my best to help. So it's at spiders at winchamcp.cheshire.sch.uk. I'm really looking forward to this year. We've got a really exciting year planned. But a little bit of a disruption at the start of the year, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. I'm really looking forward to this year and I hope your child is too. So thank you for your time. Bye-bye.